Hey guys, it's me, Minimic Jack 24 here. And today, yeah, I did hear something about popular MMOs. They sort of being broke, breaking up, breaking up. And I do support their decision if they if they were having troubles with that, with that. But but in any in any case, yeah, I do agree that that they do work a lot better as friends, not as husband and wife. Life, but besides popular MMOs, those which as you can see, I'm clearly a big fan of them. Of them, like, yeah, I am, but anyways, we need to talk about Memorial Day because today is Memorial Day, not about popular MMOs. See, the problem was that then I just learned about the popular MMOs problem about today, so it's sort of been more on my mind than normal. Normal, I mean, it's good for them, but anyways, not what I really wanted to talk about in this video, you know. You know, it's sort of like the side thing, but but it's a pretty large thing then. One of my thing is that whenever I watch a popular MMOs video, usually like, look, there's a happy husband, happy wife, but I never knew, like, if there's any troubles, troubles between them. It's like, like, I always see them so happy, it's like, like hard for me to know it, you know. And then they hit me on more when they said that they're breaking up. It didn't hit me that hard, but uh, but it's a good decision for them, them because they're feeling unhappy, happy, and like if they had trouble, trouble, then then it really then it really makes more sense, more sense to more break up, break up because you're not compatible with a marriage marriage then then it's not gonna work out well. But anyways, here comes the difference between memorials and Veterans Day, as I usually do every year. Every year. I know people people don't criticize me about this, but but once again, something's gotta something's gotta gotta do someone's gotta do this and I'm and I'm that someone so and so, let's begin. So anyways, so anyways, Veterans Day is about celebrating those who who have fought in the military and who are still alive. Still alive, morally injured, or morally wounded, wounded who still have survived the battle of war. Memorial Day, on the other hand, is more about celebrating those who had died, who had died on that day, who died in serving our country. Our country or war, war here is dying. Dying, I mean, think about it. Think about it, we have a day to celebrate the living veterans, which is Veterans Day. Memorial Day is just remembering those who we lost in war. But anyways, anyways, if we be logical about this, be logical about this, then everyone has, at some point, at some point has got to realize that, that, no matter what country you're in, you're always going to have a day where you're going to just remember people who fought in wars, or a day remembering people who had fought in wars and haven't came back since. Since, but anyways, the world is a difficult place. You never know your purpose in it. Anyways, anyways, we, if you guys don't know, I am actually saluting, saluting with my right hand, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, right hand? Yeah, 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 it's the right hand. Yeah, yeah, it's the right hand. That you salute with? To the American flag. I'm uh, American, so this is what uh, I'm doing. No offense to other cultures, but but it's what, what I do. What I do, but anyways. Anyways. Anyways, then, um, then, then. Also, as you're as you're on Memorial Day, Memorial Day is pretty big, and because one one it's up school is for youngsters, so that way they can be more connected to their family, their family, family about about war, about veterans in war, war and stuff, and stuff. Plus, plus it also brings time for family to bond together. Over the love of a lost one, or one that's still in war, that's mainly either wounded or badly injured, injured, but 
life is just like a major risk. It's like you roll the dice, roll the dice one second, you know, and then you're, and you're, and you're trying it. The next second, you realize, you realize that you're already, already, in, that you're already almost an adult. Then next time you roll the dice, you make more risky decisions as an adult. Like you mean or make, or you either make, you make terrible, terrible things that you later regret, or that, or that you would mourn from those mistakes and don't have any regret to make, to have. Anyways, anyways, if, if one of those things that you did is either serve in the military, the military, I, I haven't done it yet, and I'm planning to later, but gotta wait for a little while, a little while, a little while, but anyway, anyways, in some cases, in some cases, yeah, you need, you need to, to respect, to respect veteran, veterans and those who, who are dead who fought in the war, 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 earn the amount, earn your perspective of good, because not everyone in war is good and bad, good or bad. Good and bad are good and evil are usually done through perspective. Perspective. I know this is going to sound odd, but I'm going to really, really just make some some stuff up. So, in Star Wars, and in Star Wars before Disney ruined it, like in the, like in the Star Wars, like we always had the person. And that the uh, dark side was always was always bad, bad because it was powerful, powerful. But to be fair, it's powerful, strong, strong, and eventually it made everyone crazy. But but we were always seeing to suffer mainly, mainly Jedi were fallen Jedi. Akam, Akam, Darth Vader, Akam, Akam. But let's face the facts here. Good and evil never really come from the same perspective. I mean, if it's something terrible that's happening, I'm going to use part of World War Two, like, 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 like D Day or the Holocaust. That's something that people rest their lives for. Or, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't disrespect those, those on this day. On this day, you should stand proud that those who fought for your country, or they are doing good or bad in the military, have died and yet, and yet has led your country to victory. To victory. Anyways, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, comment, and like down below. And also remember, remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to join the Kaga Nation and to subscribe. Subscribe for more. Plus, tell me what I should do next. Please, goodbye.